Hi everybody, I'm Stephanie with Charm Southern Home. Welcome to my sale here Sunday night on Virtual Home Decor Marketplace. Um, I hope you have been having a good weekend. I'm going to try to get my comments pulled up here so that I can see them because I'm not going to probably see them from my phone. So, alright, so hopefully they're going to work on my other device so I can at least um, check in once in a while since I don't have um, somebody here to actually tell me if you guys have a question. So, all right, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started. If you're new to me, um, if you've never shopped with me before, I'll need your email and your zip code um, if you decide to order something. And if you see something you want, you just comment with the number. Um, or if you forget the number, if you just remember what it is, just give me a description or something like that and we'll, we'll figure it out. So, all right, so this is my first item tonight. This is a brand new item. Um, that just uh, made him this weekend. Um, it's a cute penguin. He is 15 inches tall. His feet and his um, beak are dimensional. Um, he does have a hanger, so you can hang him or you can just lean him up against something. He's got a snowflake here on his belly, and then he's got some there on his scarf. All right, and he is going to be number 161 for $24. 161 for 24 dollars hello guys thank you so much for hopping on i really appreciate it if you guys have any questions let me know and i'll try to get to them or i'll get back to you afterwards so all right next one i have a little mixture i have some fall and a little bit of um snowman winter stuff because i love snowmen all right next i have these canvas tote bags i've got two of these left and that is all i've got um they are 14 14 by 14 and then they are seven inches this way this handles um is 12 inches and this one's number got it hid from you 185 these are 22 dollars 185 these are 22 i did not make these these are not handmade i just want to make sure you guys know that um but it's got the picture on both sides it makes a great gift of itself or you can use it as a gift bag and fill it up with other goodies for somebody Okay, and then I also have this one. Um, it's the same size, 14 by 14. It's got the angel there up in the corner, and it's got the nativity scene on it, both sides. This one's number 155 for 22. I think I have maybe two, I'm not sure, one or two of these left. So 155 for 22. So I'm not sure if I'll get to place another order for those or not once they're gone. All right, so I have a mixture of fall, a mixture of snowmen, so I'm going to skip back around. The penguin is 15 inches high um, from the top of his head to the bottom. All right, next one. This is um, a jack-o'-lantern um, scarecrow that I've made. He's got his hat. has got a little rusty pumpkin there. Um, and there's his little eyes, his little button eyes. He is about nine inches tall. And he's number 150 and he's $26. And this is uh, one that I made myself. So number 150 for 26 for him. They look great if you have like a candlestick like these I have up here on the mantle. If you, you can set them on things like that. It looks really nice. Okay. Then I have something new that I've made tonight. Um, this is handmade by me. It's a it's supposed to be a candle ring. Um, it's got like a wire base in here and this one is a, um, votive size. So the opening here is two inches and I can make more of these. Or if you have a request for a different collar, let me know. And I will, um, try to get that made for you. So these are number 121 and they are $7 each. And if you need more than one, just let me know. I can make more of these. Um, if you need a different size, let me know. I can make bigger ones if you want. Um, this one's a vote of size and it is seven dollars okay. i have a new item tonight something that i've made um so these are all handmade hand painted <sighs> blow the dust off of it all right so you're going to get a set of salt box houses these are made of wood and they will sit up by themselves and they have a metal, a dimensional metal star at the top of each one. So I have two different options for you. 
Um, I have this set that's got the kind of the red, the blue, and um, or, or not orange, green. Red, blue, and green. The red, blue, and green set. I think these are more like 6, 8, and 10 inches tall. 6, 8, and 10. So if you like this set, it's number 162. And it's $22. 162 for 22 for the set of three. Let me see if I can find that one. Um, or I have another another collar option for you. So here's the other one. These are, if you would rather have a neutral set, I have these. Um, this one's kind of a gray, like a mushroom collar. Then um, the brown and then the cream. So if you would like those in this color let me know 193 and those are 22 and I can make more of these so all right get those sit down somewhere safe all right next one let me show you my door hanger that I've made this is all made of um, plywood and um, I forgot to measure him he is mm, almost 16 inches tall, just a little short of shy of 16 inches tall. Um, it has dimensional hat brim and dimensional nose. And then it's got a snowflake up there on top. And I added some sparkly, it's like um, like a glitter that it's made into like a um, made into the paint. So I did put some of that on the snow so the snow would sparkle a little bit, but it's not gonna like rub off or anything. So he is number 177 for $28. Number 177 for $28 for that one. Okay. And I have this cute, this is um, something that I had ordered. It's a little um, truck with the Happy Harvest with the cow in the back. It's just a chunky table sitter. It's number 133 and it is $6. I've only got one of these. Okay. And if you like the timer candles, the primitive timer candles, I have a few of these available. They are number 132 and they are $8. They're on for six hours and they're off for 18. Um, you can get it with or without a bow or you can get a different collar bow. But they are number 132 and they're six inches tall. I have a new lotion bar for you guys tonight. The scent on this one, so this is what it's going to look like. It'll come in a little tin like this, and it's all sealed and everything. So it makes a great gift. These fit nicely in your purse. So this one's called White Pumpkin and Amber, and it smells like if you like to shop at like a primitive store, like a little gift shops. If you go in those in the fall time and you smell all the fall candles that they have, that yummy fall scent that they have, that's what this smells like. Um, so it smells, it's heavenly. If you love fall scents, um, like candles, things like that, you'll, you'll love this one. It's my favorite, even though the black raspberry vanilla has been the most popular one for us. Um, this one, I like this one better. So they are going to be number 165. They're $10 a piece. Um, and it's called White Pumpkin and Amber. And if you would like a ra black raspberry vanilla, you can also get those tonight. Um, those are number 188 for the black raspberry vanilla. And then if you want another scent, let me know and I can let you know what else we have. And we also have unscented if you um, need something that's not got any scent to it. So we can do that too. All right. My next item. Let's see. Oh, let me grab it over here. This one's got my tag on it. All right, so I've got a set of the wooden spools, and they have the homespun on them, some pit berries, rusty star. I've got two sets of these available. It's twelve dollars for a set. It's number one seventeen. One seventeen. These are great for trays, bowls, just on your table, just about anywhere. All right around do another snowman here so I have these old um, tins old tobacco tins and so I just fixed this little snowman arrangement in there so you could leave this out all winter long this is number 159 this one's 16 dollars 
159 for 16. And I also have another one. This one's a little different. The snowman's different. Um, and this one's going to be number 122. 122 for 16. Okay. I've got some beautiful garden flags. They're 12 by 18 inches. I have a couple of each available. This is a really pretty uh, fall one that you can leave out um, the entire fall season. This one's number 182. They are $10. 182 for $10. I have a Halloween one that's got the stacked jack-o'-lanterns on it. And this one, if I find the number here, is 134. 134 for that one. The colors are so pretty and so bright. Um, I just love those. Okay, and then I also have a nativity one that um, sort of is similar Similar to the tote bag, but the picture's a little bit different. Um, that was actually the back of it. This is number 119. 119 for $10. Okay. And I have a set of blocks that you can, you can stack them up together or you can separate them however you want. So you get the green one that says fall leaves and the orange one that says pumpkin. And these are made on rustic wood. It's intended to be rustic. Um, so you get this set for $12, number 187. 187 for this set. I have a couple of those available. I have a couple of salt shaker snowmen available tonight. Um, number 108 for $10. Somebody was asking me about that earlier this week. The flags, I did not make the flags. Those, those were something that I had purchased. So I did not make those. I'm not really for sure how they, how they actually made those. Um, so this one's number 108 for $10. It's got some fake snow and some snowflakes in there. 108 for 10 This guy has the red and white scarf, and that one is number 191 for 10. You can see those little snowflakes in there. Somebody was asking me for those earlier this week, so I did find my supplies I was needing. So, all right, let me see here. I have some chunky blocks that I painted this week. This one says Saved by Grace and has the little kind of salt box church on it. The top has ragbow, pit berries, um, a pine cone, a little pine cone on there. Uh, so these are chunky wood. And this one is number 174 for $20. 174 for 20 for the Saved by Grace one. And I can make more of these. It would just, I would just need a couple of days to get them painted. And I also have this one that says pumpkin spice. And it's got the pumpkin there on the bottom. And the top is um, done similar, similar colors. And that one's number 167. 167 for that one. I have another one here somewhere. As soon as I figure out where it's at, I'll show you. All right, next I have these um, handmade pumpkins um, that I sewed and made these. And I have a couple of sets of these. These are, um, these ones are made from homespun. I think these were six, six inches across and then four inches across. So you get both of those. And number 189 for $24 for the, for the pair. 189 for that one. Okay. I have a couple of options. This one's a really pretty sunflower print. It's got leaves and different shades of sunflowers in it. And then here's the top, how I did the top. This one I do have a couple sets available. 
and it's number 175. So 175 for the set. one buried in there. I thought I had another one out here somewhere, but all right, next one. This one is my brown and white cow print pumpkins. This is the only set I have of these. This is, so this is my last set like this. Um, these are number 181. You like your snowman shakers, Amy? Oh, I'm glad. Um, 181 for 24. I'm going to try to make some more if I can find some more. Up here these are the black and white version so there's the black and white version the bow on these the background is like a brown kind of a burlap or linen color and then the stripe is black background with the white polka dots on it and so I've only got one set of this color left also I think um, Here's my number. That one's 198. 198 for the set of black and white cow print pumpkins. 198. Well, I've got these down. Let me show you those candlesticks that I've got up there. And these are these are made of metal. Um, these are great to display, like the pumpkins or like the um, like scarecrow heads and things like that. You can set those on there or put a candle ring and then set those on there. So this is a small one. I've only got one of each of these. The small one is about five and a half inches tall and it is number 104. 104 for this small one. And then the bigger one, it is nine inches. Nine inches tall. That was 120 for 16. 120 for 16. It's really pretty. Got lots of detail. So these are made of metal, and they have a little a little bit of distressing on them. Okay. And I have a cute fall arrangement that I've put together in this little metal milk can, and it's got the word fall on there that I wrote. Um, you get a timer candle in here. I don't have batteries in this one, but you do get the candle in here. You just tuck it in and then it's got sunflowers, the little cornstalk pieces and lots of leaves. Um, it measures, if you go to the very tip top of the, um, spikes up here, it's about 15 inches tall. So it's $158 for $24, $158 for $24. You do get the candle. I have one scarecrow hat left. This is my large one, and um, it's all handmade by me. It's about nine inches tall, and the bottom of it's just solid. You could set it on a candlestick as well, or just on a table or a tray, or set it in a bowl um, and then put other things around it. It's got the um, little tag that I've made out of fabric there. So really cute. I thought it would be something different because you always see snowman hats. Um, so I thought it'd be different to have a scarecrow hat. So it's number 112 and it is $28. 112 for 28. Let's see here. And I have another jack-o'-lantern scarecrow head that I've made. It's got his tag on the side. He's got the blue and white flannel. He is number 199 for 22. 199. I've got these really pretty candle rings. Um, I've got a couple of them laying here in my dough bowl, and then I have other things sitting around it. So it's not just for candles. This one's got pip, uh, the pucket pods and leaves on there. 
Um, you could bend these out if you wanted to make it a little bit wider. And this is number 163 for $14. 163 for $14. The opening in the middle is four inches. So it's got a four inch opening right there. cute acorn. Um, this is all handmade, hand stitched. And then it has the rag bow with the rusty bell on it. It's number 135 for $12. The back is also stitched. 135 for 12 for that one. I have one snowman taper candle. Um, if you're interested in that, you can see it's got that flicker to it. I tied a little scarf on him. He's my only one. It's number 190 and he's nine dollars. And it's on for six hours on off for 18. Let's see. I have my chunky pies. So this one's the pumpkin one. You can get whatever color you want if you want a different color. This one's blue for blueberry. I can do red for cherry. Um, just let me know if you want a different color. This one's number 170. It's $10. Just specify which color that you would like. And I can get it made for you. You have a couple of the uh, farmhouse snow snowmen left. Um, this one is uh, the last one that I have that I made from the sugar bag. It's almost like a flour sack material. And it said sugar, granulated sugar. So this is my last one of these guys. It's number 192 for $24. And he is, I think he was 12 inches. Yep, he's about 12 inches tall. This guy is made out of a, um, a fabric bag that used to have a ham in it, and he is number 173 for $24. The back of him is just uh, plain. Okay, then I have this one. I love him. He has, um, you can't see it on the camera, it doesn't show up, but the felt that he's made out of has a sparkle in it and it's really pretty it doesn't rub off um, but you, it doesn't show up on the camera so I wish it did um, but he's got the really pretty sparkly buttons the bell there's the back of this one he is number 130 and he is $24 130 for him I have one, Santa. nope, yep, I have two Santas. <laughs> this, I only have one of this one though. This is um, just a, I guess it's like a resin figurine and I painted it, I painted it, um, I painted over what it was. I didn't like the way it was. So I redid him and he's got his list and he's holding a bell, a gold metallic bell. It's number 101 for $14. 101 for $14 and it's about 12 and a half inches tall. Okay, and let me see here. I have this guy, this gnome guy. Um, he does have a hanger if you wanted to hang him. Just a, He's just an ornament or you can just set him on a shelf. It does have a weighted bottom on it. And he's got that sequin red hat. He's five dollars and I only have one. He's number 146. 146. And he does have like a piece of wire up here in his hat if you want to pose it or bend it a different way you can do that. So, All right and then I have another fall arrangement for you. This is a old oil can that I painted the Highland cow on and then I've added some sunflower leaves berries in there. This one's 136 and it is $22. 136 for 22. And then I 
have a, it's just a block table sitter sign. This is not one that I made, but I just I did decorate the top of it. It's a four by four. So this would look cute just in a little uh, spot in your kitchen for the uh, winter Christmas season when you're doing your baking, all your baking in there. It's number 166. It's eight dollars. I only have one of these. Yeah, let's see. If y'all have any questions, let me know. I think I'm caught up with questions. Let's see. How much time do I have? Five, four minutes. Um, I do have a couple of Pitberry. Um, if you like Americana, some people like to decorate with Americana type things all year. Um, this was got the red kind of a cream and blue and then it's got the three rusty stars I have two bundles available and they have the um, star bow on the bottom it's number 113 and these are four dollars each two of these available let me see I had another block somewhere and I can't find it for the life of me <laughs> okay if you were on, if you missed the very beginning, I'm just going to show this real quick. If you missed the very beginning, this is the first item that I showed. Um, my wood penguin, he has a dimensional beak and dimensional feet. Back is solid. He does have a, a hanger, but he can also just be a leaner. He's number 161 for $24. He's all hand painted, hand cut. I actually cut him out and everything. So he's 161 for $24 and he is 15 15 inches from his head down to the bottom um, of his belly there. All right, let me see. I have a cute tea kettle that has kind of, um, I call it more of a winter arrangement that you can leave out all winter long. It's got the greenery and the orange slices. And it's got the bell. It's one forty-four for twenty-two dollars. One forty-four. Okay. If you guys have any questions, let me know. I'll try to get back to you on those. Let me grab one thing real quick. I dropped this earlier. <laughs> All right. And these were also a new item that I showed um, this evening salt box houses so this set is the red green and blue they are six eight and ten inches tall and then they have the rusty star, dimensional rusty star at the top of those that one was 162 if you like that color and then also had the neutral colors if you have more of the neutral colors kind of the kind of a it's like a mushroom gray it's not really a gray it's more of like a taupey gray and then the brown and the cream. So if you like that color set, that one's $193. And that's also $22. And oh, that thing was right behind my head. Okay, so this is the other block I was looking for. It's number uh, $169 and it is $20. Fall vibes. Um, it's a chunky chunky wood block and I have an old vintage book this one was elementary music theory and I think it was in the 1951 um, when I looked inside of it it's 127 and it's eight dollars it's got the homespun and the pit berries around it and I've got this chunk um, wood pumpkin cutout with the primitive church on it and the fall scene and this is number 164 and it is $20. My time is just about up, you guys. It goes by so quick. This pumpkin is 14 inches tall. And if there's any other questions you have, sizes, or you need pictures of anything, um, just let me know and I can get that to you. I'm going to show you one more item. As I'm telling you, um, Kathy Kirkland is up after me with RK Wreaths Woodcrafts. And she has, um, I think she's got lots of new stuff tonight. So be sure after I'm off here, you refresh and join her. And I hope you guys have had a wonderful weekend. 
Um, I'll be sending invoices out later, so be sure you leave me your email and your zip code, and I will see you again very soon. Bye, everybody.